Hi everybody. So this next demonstration is going to be on how to do floor pullovers. This is again a nice stretch for the chest um, and for the shoulders, lats, kind of hits a lot of the upper body. So you're going to come down to the ground. Get your feet in as close to your hips as you comfortably can. I like to do a little toe heel walking to really get that nice and set. You want to have your hips firmly placed to the ground and kind of very slightly tip your hips away so that you really feel strong weight on your pelvis. Now, I like to start this movement with a slight crunch up so I really get my abs engaged and I let my head come to the ground. If that's uncomfortable for you, you don't need to do that. It just helps to set your rib cage in that nice down position so you can really feel everything up here. Arms reach up to the ceiling and at a kind of comfortable resting position. Palms face your knees, and then you just let your arms come backwards as far as is comfortable. And as far as you can maintain that rib tuck. All right, so if you're going here and you kick, kick your low back off the ground or your ribs come up, that means you went too far. So you want to make sure keeping that nice low back in contact with the ground, weight on your pelvis, ribs tucked slightly downwards, and then you just let your arms come down. Exhale back up. So you want to make sure you're doing that movement and kind of keeping the shoulders low. If you really reach up high, it's going to stretch some different things and you're going to get your traps involved and we want to just kind of keep the shoulders to the ground and then towards your hips a little bit. So as you're coming, you really get that nice stretch everywhere. If you want to, you can also play around with your hand positioning so you can go from palms here, palms facing each other, or palms backwards. This one is going to be the most stretch, uh, uh, very tight, and then back up. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you're keeping that elbow extended so you don't want to come down and bend like this. You want to really engage nice straight limbs because that's going to put the most torque through the shoulder, really get that stretch going. Enjoy.